This is a BMW 650 and this BMW was having the following code that you can see on the screen. The one on top says the engine echo slave coding missing. This code refers to information inside the engine control module that isn't there. Then probably it is the wrong information or it is not actually coded. The problem with this code is it then doesn't specify what type of fault do you have or what do you have to repair or encode to the vehicle to actually fix this code. And that is a big issue because you don't know what to do, it doesn't say much. But the description of the code obviously say that there is a bad programming. This problem can happen for many different reasons. It could happen because there was a tune that was not done right. It could happen because of the ECU is defective or it could happen because the ECU is missing information from the start. There is many ways how to repair this code. You can repair this code by getting a used computer from another vehicle, just the same one, and then just cut the computer to the big number of the vehicle, and that's pretty much it. Um, you can cut the computer, you can actually use a software to, com to fix the issue with the computer, or you can upgrade the software. When you are going to upgrade your BMW software, it's going to require different steps. Uh, you have to have the vehicle connected to a battery supply. You can use a car, uh, another BMW, another car or anything that can supply charge directly to the battery of the vehicle. And you have to have your computer, your uh, laptop plugged to a power source. And this is going to be directly to the computer and it's going to fit the battery of the laptop. So this process is going to take probably between two, one hour to three hours depending on how easy it is to download the files and the computer your, your vehicle needs. And when you are upgrading the software, like updating the software of the computer, you are actually getting better information that is going to help your vehicle to perform better or information that was missing at the beginning when the vehicle was released when it was brand new and also at the same time is going to repair, repair any of the coding that was missing and as i said before uh, this process is going to take a lot of time but the problem is then in, in between all the time anything can happen so you have to be constantly checking this process in order to know that this process is going to be successfully done. The major risk right here is then when the computer, your laptop or any device that you're using to upgrade your software disconnected, is get, gets disconnected from the vehicle and the computer that is going to be an issue because when you upgrade the softwares you basically deleting all the information then the vehicle already has all the softwares then each module has you are deleting everything and you're reinstalling new ones so when something goes wrong all this information is going to be deleted and the vehicle won't be able to start. And that is going to be a real big issue because you won't be able to move the car from where you park it. So that is the reason why you have to pay attention that the computer is going to be as its maximum um, capability is not going to be overloaded, overheated, it's not going to turn off for any reason and the vehicle as well is going to have 100% battery connected and it's not going to turn off by itself, all that. That is something that you have to understand because if you don't do it properly, this is going to create a serious problem. Now, to be sure that we are doing this correctly, we have to follow different steps, then the same computer is going to tell you. It's not something that you are going to get, uh, um, you are going to guess how to f uh, do it. The computer is going to tell you what you have to do, what you have to do here, and if you are doing it wrong, it won't let you go 
the next step. So it is, it is good that the computer is actually helping you to understand that this process has to be done only one way. There is no other way you can do it. So that's why you have to follow the instructions. Once you are done with the programming, with the software upgrade, all the codes related to any missing information are going to be gone. And this is going to help you to get the information that you need Everything that was gone, everything that was missing on the computer is going to be fixed. This is going to repair all those codes that are relating to missing coding. It doesn't have to be specifically engine computers. It can be transmission computer, it can be suspension computer, it can be traction computer. Anything that is related to computers and it has coding, this process can fix it. Now. The process is going to be very complicated because you have to follow different protocols and depending on the tool you're using, it's going to vary. So in this case, we're using a BMW software, but if you're using different tools, it's going, to be the, it's going to be different and also it's going to be more difficult or easier. So um, it will, the, everything is going to, to depend on how it's going to be done, on what software is going to be based on. After you do the coding, after you do the software upgrade, fixing all the coding issues that you had before, it's possible that many other issues are going to appear. Many other issues that were, bef were missing before are going to appear because now the computer is going to be working 100%. So that means that other codes that were not um, re registered by the computer are going to appear since the computer starts knowing that there is grown things here and there. For that, you actually have to be 100% conscious Then this process can actually give you more problems after because that is the way you go. So it is not going to fix all the mechanical issues you have. It's just going to fix all the software issues that you have. So that is something that you have to have very clear in your mind. If you have any questions about this, uh, you can use the comment section below. Um, uh, you want to contact me lately, go to Instagram, look for me, Francisco Maya YouTube. You want to send support to the channel, check the description of the video. And stay tuned to my channel so we can create more content about these machines, give you more information so you can be happily over the roads.